what's up everyone welcome to my youtube channel if you have not yet smashed that subscribe button please go ahead and do so now hit the like button on this video and all of my other training videos and don't forget to ring that notification bell if you'd like to be notified whenever i upload new content in this video i'm going to be demonstrating for you the prometric testable skill catheter care um, I will be giving you explanations to everything that I do and why I do it, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Now, as always, you will want to perform your opening procedure. So I'm going to knock on the door, address the resident, introduce myself, and explain what I am doing. Hi, good morning, Mrs. Jones. I'm Julie, your CNA, and today I'm going to be cleaning your catheter. But first, I'm going to conduct a brief safety check. I just want to make sure your bed is in a low safe position. Your bed wheels are locked. Here's your call light. I'm going to provide you with privacy. Now I'm going to go wash my hands and gather my supplies, and I'll be right back. With Prometric, each and every time before you gather your supplies for you know all the skills that you are required to perform, you will have to verbalize washing your hands, okay? So make sure you do that before you collect your supplies. Now the good thing about the Prometric site is that um, their supplies are going to be situated next to the person's bed or close to, okay? so. What I highly encourage you to do is to drag this overbed table uh, close to the supply area to start collecting your supplies. The first thing that I would do for this skill is to collect a towel to place over the, or to place on the overbed table as my clean barrier because you do not want to place clean supplies and or soiled supplies on the um, actual table, okay? Okay. Oh, I can't talk. I'm so sorry. All right, so what supplies are you going to need for this skill? I'm going to collect them in the order in which um, I will have to use them, okay? So the first thing that I will collect is going to be the basin and some soap. Um, at the Prometric te test site, uh, these items will normally be kept in the client's or resident's nightstand okay so i'm going to put my basin first i'm going to collect one pair of gloves i'm going to collect five washcloths okay. and one towel all right so i have all my supplies here again i have my basin i have one pair of gloves one, two, three, four, five washcloths, and one towel, or you can use a chucks, okay? The chucks is, um, well, I'm sorry, the chucks or the towel can be used as the linen protector. Um, I'm all out of chucks, so um, that's what I would normally use, but since I don't have any in the classroom, I'm using a towel, and I'm just gonna switch positions here, okay? So basin, gloves, towel, washcloths, and soap, okay? So, the next thing I'm gonna do, after I've collected my supplies, I'm gonna knock on the door again. Hi, Mrs. Jones, it's me, Julie, your CNA. I've collected all my supplies. Now I'm going to go uh, fill the basin with water, okay? And I'll be right back. So, when I fill the water with basin, um, I'm not gonna fill it completely, I'm only gonna put a small amount of water in the basin because I do not want the basin to be heavy, okay? Um, and then you have to remember, you have to test the water first before you allow the resident to test it. If you test it while you are filling the basin, make sure you verbalize it. As a matter of fact, you wanna verbalize everything you do before you do it, okay? So what I'm doing right now is just turning on the water. I'm testing the water. Okay. And now I'm filling the basin. Again, I'm not going to uh, put a lot of water in the basin because I do not want it to be top heavy. 
Hi, Mrs. Jones. It's me, Julie, your CNA. Um, I tested the water, and it feels good to me, but I would like for you to test it to make sure it's a comfortable level for you. All right, great. Thank you. All right, now, um, because the NAE or proctor will be speaking for the mannequin, um, and this skill is performed on a mannequin, you will not have to put the mannequin's hand in the water, okay? But remember, you have to test it first and then have the resident to test it. So the next thing I'm gonna do, which I have on my um, bedside or over bed stand, is going to put on my gloves. Mrs. Jones, I'm just putting on my gloves right now. And once I get my gloves on, I'm going to place a linen protector underneath you to protect your sheets from getting wet, okay? So this is why I have my students to organize their supplies on the overbed table in the order in which they are going to use them. This will cue them as to what steps they will need to perform next, okay? Just in case they forget, they can say, oh, wait a minute, okay, I got my gloves, so now it's time for me to put on my gloves. Hey, I have a towel here, okay, or Chuck. All right, now I need to place the linen protector, okay? All right, Mrs. Jones, I'm going to pull down your sheet and raise up your gown, okay? All right, so I'm going to pull her sheet down. Make sure I do not pull it down past her knees, and I'm going to raise her gown to the level of her hips, okay? So there won't be any overexposure. Now, when you place the linen protector, yeah, the gown is gonna move, the sheets are gonna move. You don't have to worry about overexposing the resident as long as you return the sheets, right? Pull the gown back down, pull the sheets back up um, after you have placed the linen protector. Now, you can place the linen protector in one of two ways. Um, the way that I'm going to demonstrate to you in this video is I'm going to have Mrs. Jones lift her hips and I'm going to slide the linen protector underneath her, okay? Or you can turn the resident away from you to place the linen protector. If you do, um, you do not have to raise the side rail because Prometric does not score you on the raising or lowering of side rail. However, they do emphasize not having the resident dangerously close to the edge. So before you turn the person, you will want to move that person closer to you and then turn them, okay? So Mrs. Jones, I'm going to place the linen protector now. So I'm just going to roll the towel just a little bit, right? Roll it. And then I'm gonna situate it on the bed to where I need it to be. Now, when you place the linen protector, you wanna make sure that you place it completely underneath the person's buttocks. If the NAE starts walking towards you while you are placing the linen protector or after you have placed it, it might be a good idea for you to recheck to make sure that it's completely underneath the buttocks, okay? If not, then just, you know, tell Mrs. Jones or, or whatever your resident's name is going to be that you're readjusting the linen protector to ensure that it's completely under her buttocks, okay? All right, Mrs. Jones, on the count of three, I'm going to ask you to raise your hip. So now what I'm doing is I'm putting my arm underneath both legs, uh, close, um, high up on the, uh, the side area, okay? All right, Mrs. Jones, one, two, three and lift all right and i'm just going to pull it through here we go making sure i have it completely underneath your buttocks and i do you doing okay all right now you see how the gown moved up a little bit and the sheet moved down a little bit all you have to do is re position okay mrs jones i'm just repositioning your sheet and gown to make sure i do not overexpose you all right so the first washcloth with this skill you have to clean the inside of the labia okay so this first washcloth i'm going to wet it squeeze it out really good because i don't want any water dripping i'm going to apply soap 
I'm going to get it all over the washcloth. I'm going to fold my washcloth back and forth. I'm going to use the open areas of the washcloth. I'm going to fold it up in my hand so, you know, the washcloth, there won't be any uh, part of it dangling, right? So I have it in my hand like this. Mrs. Jones, I'm just going to uh, clean your labia now so you're going to feel me touch you. I'm going to clean the inside of the labia that's furthest from me. Then I'm going to flip the leaf over for a clean area of the washcloth. And then I'm going to clean the inside of the labia that's closest to me. All right, and that's it. Now, you can actually use the same washcloth to clean the catheter. However, I'm training my students just to use a different washcloth, okay? Uh, because they're gonna be nervous and I don't want them to forget to use a clean area. The second washcloth, I'm going to wet. I am not going to put soap on it. I'm going to leave it in four, squeeze it out really good. Again, I'm going to fold it up in my hand so no washcloth, no parts of the washcloth will be dangling. And now I'm going to rinse the inside of the labia. Mrs. Jones, I'm just going to rinse your labia on the inside. And then I'm going to flip and rinse the inside of the labia that's closest to me. All right, I'm gonna place this washcloth over the bin. I'm going to take my second, or excuse me, my third washcloth, I'm going to wet it. Apply soap. Make sure I get the soap over all areas of the washcloth. I'm going to fold it in fours. Now, Prometric, just like what Pearson's do, does not specify how many wipes you have to uh, use to clean the catheter. I train my students, only do it once, okay? Wash the catheter once, wash it um, or rinse it only with one stroke, okay? Why? Again, you're going to be nervous. You may forget to use a different area of the washcloth, all right? So, how am I going to do that? I'm going to hold the catheter as close to the meatus as I can, as I can, right? Um, meaning your fingers should be touching the labia, all right? Mrs. Jones, I'm going to clean your catheter now. I'm going to take the washcloth. I'm going to wrap it around the entire diameter of the catheter, and I'm going to clean the entire length of the catheter. Then I'm going to gently place it down on the linen protector, okay? Then I will release the catheter from my other hand. Now, like Pearson do, um, Prometric is asking you to clean at least three to four inches of the catheter, but what is three to four inches to you may not be three to four inches to the nurse aid evaluator or proctor. So I train my students, just clean the entire length of the cath. You don't have to worry about the two ports, but the catheter itself, okay, just the entire length. The fourth washcloth, I'm going to take and wet it. I'm going to squeeze out all the water. I'm not going to put soap on it. I'm going to use this wa washcloth to rinse the catheter in the same manner that I washed it. All right, Mrs. Jones, I'm just going to rinse your catheter now. Again, I'm holding it as close to the meatus uh, without tugging or pulling it, okay? So your finger should be touching uh, the person. I'm going to wrap the washcloth completely around the diameter of uh, the catheter. I'm going to gently rinse the catheter and then the entire length, and then I'm going to gently place it on the uh, linen protector and then release the catheter from my hand. The fifth wa washcloth I'm going to use to dry the labia, the front period area, and the catheter, okay? So again, I'm gonna fold uh, the washcloth in my hand so it won't be dangling, right? I'm gonna fold it open leaf. I'm going to dry inside the labia furthest from me flip the washcloth, dry inside the labia furthest from me, and then I'm going to flip the washcloth over, 
I'm going to hold the catheter as close to the meatus as I can, wrap the washcloth around the entire diameter of the catheter, and gently dry the entire length of the catheter, place it back down, place this washcloth over my basin. One of the most forgotten steps is the removal of the linen protector. So while Mrs. Jones is still um, uncovered, uh, the same way I placed it, I'm going to remove it. I'm going to have her to lift her hip and then I will remove the linen protector. If you have turned her to the side um, to place it, um, you know, again, you can either turn her to the side to remove it or you can just have her lift her hips, okay? And lifting the hip, again, I'm going to place my hand under both legs close up to the thighs, okay? Ms. Jones, I'm just going to remove uh, the linen protector on the count of three. If you could, raise your hip. One, two, three. I'm going to roll the linen protector away from me, making sure it does not touch my clothing, okay? And then gently place Mrs. Jones back down. I'm going to use my elbows to cover or pull down her gown. Mrs. Jones, I'm just pulling down your gown and then use my elbows to pull up the sheet. Okay, there we go. Now, when you use your elbows to do this, uh, the NAE may say, hey, you know, you don't have to use your elbows, just use your hands. Um, if he or she tells you that, then just use your hands, okay? Uh, but to begin with, I train my students, go ahead and use your elbows because I don't want you to get flagged for infection control, all right? So now what I'm going to do is dispose of, um, well, before I dispose of everything, I'm going to go ahead and do my closing procedure. Okay, Mrs. Jones, so um, I have finished cleaning your catheter. Um, your bed is still in a low safe position. Bed wheels are still locked. You still have your call light in your hand. Privacy is maintained. I'm going to go uh, dispose of my supplies now, okay? All right, now at this time, I'm just gonna remove all of my linen, okay? I'm gonna roll it away from me, hold it out at arm's length, dispose of the linen into the soiled linen hamper, and I'm going to go to the sink, empty the basin, rinse the basin, and dry the basin. So I'm emptying the basin into the sink. I'm rinsing the basin. And now I'm going to dry the basin. And I'm going to make sure I dry it really good because I'll be placing uh, the soap back into the basin and placing the basin back into the person's um, bedside stand. I'm going to grab another small piece of paper towel and as you can see um, I'm holding the uh, clean basin with uh, the use of a paper towel. This paper towel I'm going to use to place the soap back into the basin and then open uh, the bedside stand. Okay? So follow me. All right, so I'm grabbing the soap. I'm putting the soap in the basin, opening the uh, bedside stand, placing the basin of soap in the bedside stand. Now I'm going to dispose of the paper towel. I'm going to remove my gloves without contaminating myself. I'm immediately going to verbalize washing hands. Okay, I'm going to move this back over here. Now I'm just going to take a few seconds to um, review how I performed this skill, making sure that I did not omit any steps and or I did not perform any steps incorrectly. Once I do that and I feel, you know, confident with my performance, I will then verbalize again because you can't do it too often, right? Washing my hands, skill complete. All right, guys, that's it. Yes. Now, um, like I was saying in the beginning, right, um, you don't have to collect five washcloths 
You can actually collect three washcloths. Um, you can use, you know, um, one washcloth to wash the labia in uh, the catheter, the second washcloth to rinse the labia and rinse the catheter, and then the third washcloth to dry both areas. But when it comes to washing and rinsing, um, guys, let me tell, me tell you, you have to be really, really conscientious of, um, you know, washing and rinsing, um, you know, using a, a clean area of the washcloth with each wipe and with each stroke. Uh, because if you don't, you're going to get flagged for infection control, um, and then you will not receive credit for the step. So, to alleviate all of that, um, I'm training my students to collect five washcloths, okay? One to wash the inside of the labia, one to rinse the inside of the labia, one to wash the catheter, one to rinse the catheter, and then the fifth washcloth you can use to dry. Again, uh, for the linen protector, I used a towel because I was all out of chucks. But if you have chucks, you can go ahead and, and use uh, the chucks. Just make sure that instead of placing the chucks into the soiled linen hamper, you dispose of it into the trash can, okay, or the chucks. If you use a towel, dispose of it into the soiled linen hamper, all right? Okay, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hey, I hope... My videos are helping you. I'm still getting, um, receiving a lot of comments <coughs> with people, excuse me, letting me know that they are passing their exams, <coughs> you know, Georgia, North Carolina, Texas, California, New York, um, Oklahoma, Ohio, um, Jamaica, right? It's awesome. Canada, it is so awesome. Um, and I love receiving comments like that, okay? So um, again, hey, look, um, I appreciate all of you. Um, I, I appreciate your, your loyalty to my channel. Um, I appreciate you making referrals to my channel. That makes me feel so good, yes. I really, it really does. Um, so that is it. Again, I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm gonna let you go now. And again, as always, y'all know I'm gonna tell y'all this. Smash that subscribe button if you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel. Click the like button on this video and all of my other videos. You doing so actually helps my channel become more recognizable here in YouTube and on Google. And then if you'd like to receive notifications whenever I upload new content, you can go ahead and ring that notification bell, okay? I love you all. Mwah! See you later. Ciao.